Hey, you guys. Thank you for clicking on my channel. My name is Hillary Johnson. And today, today we are talking about interview questions for a pharmacy technician. Um, these are just an example of the questions that they are going to ask you. So I really want to help y'all. I really want to help y'all get this job. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get to the video. One of the first tips that I want to let y'all know and just in case you see me looking down, y'all, I'm looking at the my notepad that I have these questions written down in. So if I'm looking down, I'm looking at that. All right, y'all. So when you go to Google and you search these questions, I want you to search pharmacy interview questions, okay? And when you search these questions, it's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff that comes up. So I'm gonna need for you to pick, I don't know, it's always good to overdo it like i don't know if you want to do 15 questions i might be a little extra but it's good to go ahead and to pick i don't know maybe 10 to 15 questions you rather be um overly prepared than under prepared so i would search about maybe 10 to 15 questions and write them down in a notepad once you write them down in a notepad write down your question and after you write down your question write down your answer underneath it, okay? And when you write down your loved one, maybe your, your parent, it can be your girlfriend, boyfriend, or whatever, get them to act like they are the interviewer. So have them to be the interviewer in the questions, okay? When you tell them, hey, you're gonna ask me the questions and I'm gonna answer them like I'm doing a real interview, okay? We call that a mock interview. So, after you got your questions written down, practice. Go over them over and over again. And when you are doing an interview, you don't want to sound rehearsed. <laughs> you don't want to sound rehearsed. You don't want to make it sound like, you know, you're reading off a piece of paper. You don't want to have a paper or you can... Some people will allow you to bring in notes. I'm not sure um, if other pharmacies do that, but some pharmacies will allow you to bring in your notebook and look at your allow you to look at your notes if you have some i don't know if every pharmacy is like that so don't quote me but you don't want to sound rehearsed you want to go in there and you want to have confidence so a key point some of the key point things when they ask you questions like um describe your describe what qualities that you have so when they ask you to describe what kind of qualities that you bring to the table in the pharmacy you want to say you want to say that you are a quick learner okay when you say that you are a quick learner that's very important because it's always best to be able to learn quickly because as you learn things and as you take in this information it's going to be easy it's going to be easier on your coworkers and it's going to be easier on your pharmacy manager so say that you are a quick learner i can also say that you adjust us quickly to change it those are the key points okay so some of the questions i'm going to present in this video so one of the questions is going to be um because you know there are always changes happening in the pharmacy it's always things that is coming out new things new changes so you also want to make sure that you say you adjust quickly to changes another key point is you have the ability to meet deadlines yes it's going to show that you are organized it's going to show that you are planned and it just make you look very professional it makes you look well planned out and organized and yeah you're going to get the work done what would your past co-workers say about working with you what? okay so this might be a question to where they ask what would somebody else that have worked with you say about your working skills what would they say about your communication skills what would they say about who you are your personality okay so they may ask you that so the other question may be what is your greatest weakness y'all this question i feel like it was in most of my pharmacy interviews was this question what is your greatest weakness okay when they ask you this question who 
are this is like a not this would be like a question that would basically put out your weaknesses right it's more so like a negative question not that they're asking you a negative question but the question pertains to a weakness of yours and weaknesses are looked at as something you know negative so you want to turn this question into something positive so your answer needs to be your answer don't need to be you don't need to say nothing like this well my greatest weakness is i um don't i don't come into work on time or my greatest weakness is i make a lot of mistakes when i feel medications i make a lot of mistakes i gotta no you don't you don't want to do that okay <laughs> you don't want to do that something that you can say you can, my greatest weakness is that i am someone who i'm someone that want to make sure something is right i am a perfectionist so i always want to make sure that i feel my medication correctly i have the right drug and that i did my best to make sure i didn't make any mistakes so i'm always catching myself over checking my my work so that holds me up from getting done quicker because i'm always double checking my work i'm always double checking um to make sure that i didn't make any mistakes that i start overthinking that could be something that turns the question into something positive because the positive part is that you understand that it's important to make sure that you are feeling correctly that you have the right drug, you have the right for your work before sending it to the pharmacist, that you're double checking behind yourself. That's the positive part. The part that you can say that you will work better on is that you're going to work better in having confidence in yourself to know that confidence, you will have more confidence next time and that you're going to work on not being so, that you're going to work on your time management with sending your stuff to the pharmacist that you're going to have more confidence and be assured of yourself that's what you can say always end it with something positive okay nothing negative just stuff that is positive what are your plans for the next five years so that may be a question that they ask you and you want to make sure that you are prepared for that question you want to make sure you go in there and your five-year plans may be that you may be that you want to be promoted to be a pharmacy lead tech if that's something that you want to do. You may want to be a lead technician in the next five years, so you're going to work hard to get to that point, or honestly what you want to do. But be honest, but at the same time, um, let them know that you do have future plans, but don't make it seem like you have like you're trying to basically get higher and then you're going to leave in the next, you know, year or so. Learning and that you want to expand and that you want to move up in the future. Another question, a good question that they might ask you. This is very important, okay? So this one is, it's not a question, it's more so a statement. They tell us about a time you showed strong teamwork skills because in a pharmacy, you have to work with other people like with any job you have to work and be a team with your co-workers you have to be a team you have to work together you can't do everything by yourself so this is a very important question because they want to know how you work around other people are you a team player are you a team builder um also they're going to ask you questions about leadership name a time where you took initiative and made a leadership decision Okay, because they want to know if you can take on that responsibility. Next question is, why did you choose to be a pharmacy technician? They might ask you that question. So when they ask you that question, you want to be prepared. You want to be short, which you don't want to be too short your answer, but you want to be to the point and simple. Okay, um, my answer to that question is, for example, when I was, my grandmother had a lot of medical issues. Um, she was a diabetic. She had, you know, high blood pressure, um, high cholesterol. So I would always be at my grandmom's house 
more than my mother's house because my mom, um, she had different work schedules where she had to work overnight. So I would stay at my grandmother's house me and my brother, but I was the oldest, so I took um, the responsibility. She gave me the responsibility of handling her medication. So I seen my grandmother, you know, sick and going through things. So she would have me to give her medication. She would have me going um, to the fridge to get out her medicine. She would have me giving her her insulin. And I was just a big help to my grandma. Like I was, I used to change her obeyed her I used to take care of her I used to bring her food so I was like her little caregiver so that made me more so turn toward pharmacy because I was already doing a young age so I was like well why not go to school for it and learn and get more experience so that was my story your story is going to be different so just to be honest with that story and like I said be simple to the point, but at the same time, you want to give your answer. You want to be truthful with your answer, okay? Okay, so those are some of the questions that you are going to get asked as a, in a pharmacy technician interview. So just make sure, like I said, that you practice confidence, that you go in. This thing is don't study too, too much. Like, don't overdo it, but at the same time, you want to make sure that you practice with someone. Like I said, get a friend, get a parent to go over these questions and just basically do a fake interview with your family or your loved one. Do a mock interview with them and let them let them rate your interview. Let them jot down some things, what you could have did better on, what you could have answered better or what you did awesome, an awesome job on. What did you answer right? Also, interviews and things like that, they want you to more so be still when you are talking, be still, make eye contact. Eye contact is very important because it shows confidence. It shows um, that you're being honest. So make eye contact. And a lot, they don't like that. Okay, so in an interview, you want to make sure you come in and you want to go ahead and fix your hair how you need to fix your hair and stuff. Have your hair and stuff fixed when you come in. Um, but when you're sitting down, you don't want to do this and you don't want to do this all the time, which not in an interview, but I do that a lot, period. I had to practice that during the interview because I do plan my hair, but I don't know when I'm playing my hair, but don't do that on the interview. But come in and if you have to drink some tea before you go in to calm yourself, do that. Have you a nice big breakfast? You you got this interview, honey. You're going to get it, okay? The job is yours. The job is yours, okay? The job is yours. Can't nobody take it away from you. But um, that's the end of this video. If you guys have any more um, ideas, content ideas for me, if you have any questions or put them down um, in the comment section below, thank you guys for watching. So, yeah. I will see you guys on the next video.